Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave, and on today's Two Minute Tip, I'm talking about the importance of flourishing first as a person as you're building a strong couple relationship. I like to say a better we starts with a better me. I think we can all agree that it's much easier to have a healthy marriage when we're in a healthy place ourselves. We have so much more to give when our tanks are full compared to when we're running on empty physically, emotionally, and mentally. So where do we start? It's probably no surprise that we start with our physical health. I'm talking about our diet, exercise, and sleep patterns. And I get it, we hear about those all the time. But when those are out of whack, it messes with our mood and attitude, right? And then where do we go? My take is mental health. Research continues to show that beyond the amazing benefits our physical health can have on our mental health, there are some pretty amazing happy hacks to boost our mental health and happiness as well. These include things like starting your day in a positive way. Things like reading and exercise. Okay, have you tried laughing yoga? Like seriously, it's a real thing, Google it. Or things like journaling, prayer, and meditation, they all have been shown to have positive effects and reduce stress to start the day. And I encourage you to try this simple idea I call text two before 10. All you do is text two people before 10 a.m. a text of gratitude, love, or even a sincere compliment. This is about feeling good when we're doing good. And there's all kinds of other ways to boost gratitude, from gratitude letters you read to someone face to face, to gratitude journals, and all kinds of apps focused on increasing appreciation. Hey, thanks Rex for making this video. Another happy hack is simply turning outward and being kind. I call it RACKS, random acts of kindness. This includes anything big or small, and it can be your spouse, your child, a neighbor, or even a random stranger. Science shows we feel better when we're doing something kind for someone else. And what about building optimism about the future? Worry and stress tends to suck the happiness right out of us. And who tends to pay the price? Yep, it's our kids and our spouse. So you may try out the best possible self-writing exercise. It's simple, yet really powerful. First, imagine your life going as well as it possibly could. You've worked hard and you've managed to realize all of your life goals. Then take 10 minutes or so to write about this best possible future. What would that look like? What changes might need to happen to achieve your best possible self? Research suggests that you'll not only increase your happiness, but it could pave the way for sustained happiness down the line. You could do the same exercise by envisioning your relationship as the best it could be, then committing to make it happen. The truth is, no one likes it when we're ornery and cranky, especially our spouse and kids, right? So making time to get our own hearts right and lives in order is so important for happy, healthy relationships. And the cool thing is, science shows that these types of small and simple things really can create this upward spiral that makes us happier and better to be around. So that's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave sharing two minute tips for better relationships. And for more tips and resources, be sure to visit StrongerMarriage.org.